Well, Santa Ana has kicked off a multi-million dollar campaign to get residents to learn English. It is a huge undertaking in a community where most residents do not speak English at home. I would assume reporter Miriam Hernandez has details on the effort. Sabe hablar inglés usted? No. Quiere aprender? Do you speak English? Do you want to learn? Jimmy Isaias approaches shoppers in Santa Ana to tell them about classes available for free. Tienen clases en el día y también en la noche. And to fit any schedule, it is part of an aggressive campaign by the Chamber of Commerce to fill a worker gap. Many of the Hispanic workers right now are in the workforce and are good employees, strong workers that employer wants to advance but they have a ceiling because they don't speak English well enough to get up to supervisory level. The fact of the matter is there are dozens of places in the Santa Ana area that offer English classes for free, but not enough people are utilizing them. The Blitz features questions splashed on billboards. Does it take you more than two hours to get to work? Or this one with a housekeeper on it. Are you working two jobs? The campaign message is that bilingual skills boost quality of life. A survey by the chamber found that two-thirds of the local workforce does not speak English well enough to qualify for entry-level jobs in growth industries. Many people are receptive. Then there are those such as Maria Alegria. When would I have time to learn and how would I at my age, she says. Bienvenido al libro uno de Ser de Saber. This could be an answer. The chamber is marketing this $325 computer unit. A business can buy it and send it home with a worker to get started on the basics. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The chamber says four and a half million dollars will be spent on the effort over the next four years. Our challenge is to bring 50,000 new residents to English proficiency by the end of 2009. That's our goal and we're going to reach it. Miriam Hernandez, ABC7 Eyewitness News. In California, another story. Santa Ana, California. It's about 40 miles outside Los Angeles. So few people in that town can speak English that the businesses there can't hire enough people to fill the jobs. So what is the town doing? They're going to try to teach people English so that they can get these jobs filled. We're joined now by Dale Ward, the executive vice president of the Santa Ana Chamber of Commerce. Thank you very much for being with us. Good morning, Nita. You're welcome. Uh, well, th this is something really radical. You've got plenty of jobs. You don't have people that can speak English to work them. And so you're going to spend a significant amount of money to, to teach them that. Why are you taking that extra step? Well, right now, Employers are saying they can't get enough qualified people, as you point out. In Santa Ana, over half of our workforce do not qualify for entry-level jobs simply because they do not speak English or speak it well. So we've launched a, what we think is a model program with our partner at Santa Ana College on two fronts. One is to increase the enrollment that they now have, which is over 20,000 ESL students every year. And secondly, to get into the home with a product called Sed de Saber, which means thirst for knowledge, that the people at home can use to advance in the English language. This I, is really, a, go ahead. Uh, well, I understand that less than 15% of the people who live in your area actually speak English at home, which makes it even more difficult. Uh, you're not speaking English uh, in the workplace, but even at home when, when they get there, uh, they're not able to speak English to, to practice. So I guess your schools are the only options, correct? Well, the schools have been the only options to date, mm -hmm. but with this new product, when we get into the home, which has a multiplier effect, parents and siblings start to use it mm -hmm. and get interested and motivated to learn English. Mm -hmm. Right now, 75% of the employers will not hire unless they speak English, and you're right, over 85% of the homes speak a language other than English. So free so it's language. A real challenge. Yeah, free language classes now at the community college and also those take home study kits. Uh, $4.5 million campaign to try to get people then to take advantage of this opportunity. You're here, you want a job, uh, here, you've got to learn the English language at the very least. Uh, thanks so much for telling us about this. Dale Ward, Executive Vice President, the Santa Ana Chamber of Commerce. Thanks.